to another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com and what I want to talk about in uh, this video is the mean, median, and mode. And uh, this is really important for you to understand. It's not too difficult but kind of easy to confuse because if you look at these um, terms, mean, median, and mode, first of all they all start with M, <laughs> okay, and second of all they're all uh, relevant to um, the study of statistics. So really easy to confuse, but it's really um, also very important that you understand the differences, and there are significant differences. But what's the whole idea behind the, behind, uh, the mean, median, and mode? Well, really, uh, these uh, three things that we want to do in math are um, all to give us some sort of, make sense of some sort of series of information or numbers that we might be given. So whether that be a whole bunch of test scores or a whole bunch of prices, let's say these are the these wouldn't be the prices, but let's say the prices of all the houses in a particular neighborhood. You know, we want to have some sort of one main number that gives us a characteristic or an overarching trend of what's going on. So that's what we try to do with the mean, median, and mode. We look at the data or the information in kind of a slightly different way, but it's all designed to make sense of, of all the sets of information, all the numbers that you're given. So let's go ahead and start with the mean. Okay, so what is the mean? The mean is nothing more than the average. Okay, so real simple. So how do you find the average of all these numbers? Okay, all you have to do is add them up. Okay, so just you know, let me take a moment here, get your calculator out. You don't even need to do that. Just kind of shorthand. If you add all these up, you're going to get 33. Okay, so first of all, we have to add all of them up, and then we have to count how many numbers we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have eight numbers, and when we add them all up, we get 33. So 33 divided by 8 is going to be our mean. So now let me go and get my calculator out. 33 divided by 8 is equal to 4.125. 4.125 is our mean, okay, or average. All right, so that's one way of looking at this set of information. But it's not the only way, okay? The other two things that we're going to look at, the median and mode, are um, also uh, other other um, perspectives on this group of information. So let's talk about the median. Now, the median, to discuss this, what we have to do is take our numbers and order them um, from uh, least to greatest. So in other words, I'm going to rewrite them. I'm going to start first with 1, and then I have 2, and then I have another 2. So that's going to be 2, 2, then I have 3, then I have 4, I have 5, I don't have 6, but I have 7, and then I have 9. So let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so same numbers, same set of numbers. However, what I did was uh, uh, write them in, um, in order, okay, from least to greatest. So the median, all the median is... And it kind of sounds like it. Median is the middle number. Okay, it's the middle number. So how many numbers do I have here? I have eight. So I have four here. I have one, two, three, or one, two, two, three, and then I have another four here. So right now I don't really have like a middle number. Okay, if I had these numbers, let's say one, five, and nine, what would be the middle number? five, right? That would be the middle or the median number. So if uh, our numbers were one, five, and nine, the median would be five. But in this case, we don't have an exact median. It would be like right here. So it's no big deal to find the median. When you have a situation like that, what we do is we take our two kind of like candidates to be the middle and we just find the average. So three plus four divided by two or seven divided by two, real easy. Okay, but if you need your calculator, it is 3.5. Okay, so 3.5 would be the median, and once again, it's nothing more than the average of the two uh, closest numbers to the middle. Okay, all right, um, and that brings us to our last important measure, and that's the mode. And you're going to like this because this is super easy. The mode is nothing more than the number that shows up the most. Okay, so what number shows up the most here? Okay, 2. Okay, 2 is repeated twice. All these other numbers just appear once, so our mode would be 2. 
And then of course, if we had something like one, five, and nine, and I ask you what the mode is, you would say there is no mode, all right? All right, so basically, these three uh, um, characteristics, the mean, median, and mode, make sense of all this information that we were given, all right? We know its average is 4.125. We know the median, or that middle number, is 3.5, and the mode is two. So in statistics, and math, and science, and business, these are really important uh, measurements that we want to take on a group of uh, um, numbers or, or a set of data. Okay, so hopefully this clears things up, mean, median, and mode. And uh, don't forget to go to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Uh, we've got tons more videos, all free, all designed to make math easy to learn. Good luck and uh, take care.